My name's Matt. And I'm Dawn. And we are planting a church in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I've had a love for church planting for a long time. It probably started when I interned in Colorado um, at a church there in Fort Collins and uh, just looking across a city that had very few churches. We moved here to, to Woodburn, to the Bowling Green area. We, uh, we were drawn to the 2020 vision of Woodburn Baptist Church of just planting 20 churches by the year 2020. And uh, we didn't know how we'd be part of that, that mission, uh, th that vision that Woodburn had. Um, but over the course of time, we just really um, felt like that we were going to be a, a big part of that, that vision. So it's kind of led us to, to this point of planting a church here in the same county that we're in. I'm going to let Dawn kind of talk to where she first um, started feeling that call. Yeah, three years ago maybe, um, mm -hmm. there was a guy, Sam Malinga, who is uh, one of our church planters. Um, that's planting in Washington State, and um, he spoke at our church, uh, hadn't gone there yet, but was speaking and things, and God just kind of said, okay, it's your turn um, in my heart, and um, I just desired to be all about the gospel and, and um, to reach people the way that Sam was talking about. Um, so that was kind of like the initial, okay, it's time for you to step up and, and do what I've put in your heart. Um, for a long time now. 2020 vision at Woodburn uh, includes everywhere, um, but we really started begin focusing on the Bowling Green area, even though people were like, man, Bowling Green has a ton of churches, but in reality, there's around 100,000 people in the Warren County area that never, that doesn't go to church. Uh, Bowling Green is a very um, acceptive place for immigrants, and uh, we, over the course of the last year, year and a half, we've, uh, we've just fallen in love with with uh, immigrants in this area and their needs. And, and one of the things we wanna do in the, in the community that we're in is, uh, is make sure that every person in that community that we're in knows that they're loved. Um, we wanna make every neighbor a disciple and we wanna send out leaders uh, into the community and around the world that, that do the same. And uh, so that's kind of what we're, we're seeing. We, we found out in the community itself that um, the community is craving that kind of um, heart, that kind of um, church, and just by talking to people and already having conversations with people and hearing their stories, it's uh, it's amazing to to sense the. It's not easy, um, but it's really easy to to build relationships. Um, this is a hard work. You know what we're doing is trying to blend um, nations. We're trying to blend uh, languages, um, socioeconomic uh, diversity, and so that that's very difficult. But at the same time, it's it's a it's a community that craves somebody to come alongside them and and we've already seen that just in working the in the community and and being involved in some of these people's lives of, of the of just the um the natural flow of of just building relationships with people has been has been uh, so encouraging and you can see god at work in, in some of those specific areas our plan for the church uh we are right now in pre-launch phase that means we are doing a lot of community events and just trying to meet people and uh, begin the process of life transformation in Jesus. Uh, so we're uh, just meeting people and, and having conversations and walking down those streets and passing out flyers and doing whatever else we can do to. Uh, so. Right now we're, we're looking at launching in September of this year, um, but we, we need your help. Uh, right now we have a couple of churches and a number of individuals that are sponsoring us, that are giving towards uh, what God is doing here. Woodburn Baptist Church, which is, which is our sending church, where I've been a youth pastor for the last five plus years, uh, is sending us out. And uh, we're also partners with Hillview Heights Church in Bowling Green, which is one of the largest churches in Bowling Green, but one of the most evangelistic churches and the most um, the one with the, one of the biggest visions uh, for Warren County. Um, pastor Steve Ayers is on my board, so he helps direct and make decisions for Journey Church, uh, but they're a partner with us. We're looking for a couple more church partners as well, just to come alongside of us in prayer and financially and things like that um, for the next few years. Also, we're looking for individuals to give and be part of this uh, vision for this community. Um, so we're asking you, uh, if you would give um, to this cause, we're looking for people that, you know, from, you know, it may be a, a child that says, I can give a dollar uh, to this cause, that's part of it, and that dollar will go to reach reach people. But if you can give ten dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, uh, and I know some of you probably could afford a hundred dollars a month, uh, we would uh, greatly appreciate it because we want to. We know that the 
the type of church that we're building, um, the community that we're in has a lot of needs. And it's one of those things where, you know, even if we have a lot of people in church, our tithes and offerings probably won't be very high for a long time because a lot of people aren't churched at all. And that's good. And we want to reach those folks as much as possible. But also they're financially strained. Uh, they're immigrants. They're this and that. And it just it keeps them from the ability to give and to support a ministry like this. And so we want to invite you into that vision uh, of Journey Church. Uh, so I encourage you to, to pray about what uh, you will do and how you'll be a partner with us in what God is trying to do in this community. Thank you.